Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yeah! Welcome to Drinking Bros, fake news. It's the realest fake news on the planet. We've had a crazy week, and now in the state of North Carolina, they've just extended the corona. What, what are we calling that? The deadline? A fucking crossfire? I don't know. Stay at home order? Stay at home order. Are we calling it that? Yeah, I mean, that's what everyone else is calling Does it. Does it have but any I sweet guess... initials? Stay at home order. S-A-H-O. No. Oh, a Seho. <laughs> Oh, they're extending the Seho. The Seho. Ah, you don't say. I've tuned out. Seho. I've tuned out of this. Dan, you haven't. Um, of I'll tell what? You, I'll tell you. This entire thing? Yeah, I don't care about these acronyms or you these should. orders or any of this bullshit. You should, because A-Rod and J-Lo are buying the Mets, dude. And now we've got a, a Seho going on here. We've also, if you look closely, we're down to the lime versions of all of our seltzers <laughs> you know it's just bad. like every other fridge in america they're down to your lime seltzers mm. because mm. no mm. one drinks the fucking lime um welcome uh to our youtube subscribers had a, a few technical difficulties to begin with but uh we should be all fired up and rock hard and ready to go brother let's get to the first news item of the week California bans protests on state property. Uh, personally, I don't think there's a good argument for public protests right now, particularly on state property where first responders are often either working or around. Yep. Uh, this one, Dan, is a, is a weird one. It's, it's one of those situations where you don't know who to yell at, really. Right. So you, you know, stay home yeah. and not yell at anybody. When, where in, uh, really, you should be yelling at everybody involved in that. Like, there's no point to be doing in-person protests right now in large groups of people. There's a strain on first responders right now, and they're doing work that we appreciate. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up for a little bit. There's plenty of stuff going on in digital right now. People are streaming, like, eight hours of content a day. Right. You have every opportunity right now to, you know, find other people that think like you, form political action committees or groups of people that want to do protest plan stuff and blah, 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 and all that stuff. And there's plenty of organization. If you're worried about like gun rights, for example, there's gunpolicy.org, uh, with whom the guy we're going to have on the show here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of groups out there working on your behalf in the courts where it matters. Not on, not, not out on the street right now, because that doesn't, that does not, you're not pushing the ball forward. But, yeah, but, big but, let's be clear. If you have to ask permission from the government to exercise your rights, you don't have rights, bitch. Yep. Um, I've, me and my friends have been uh, Zoom protesting where we uh, all connect together on a Zoom and then protest things mm. um, that we're against. Mm. So, Are you protesting uh, spending time with your family? That's uh, protesting nailed children. It. Yeah, nailed it. Boom. God, she oh. doesn't know how to high five, dude. She's <laughs> so used to social distancing now. Did I you notice afraid. that? I was afraid. I was afraid. Oh, to, you're one of. No. Are you what? afraid now to go out in the world? There no. you go. Are you afraid to touch other humans? That's exactly what. No, that felt I'm like. not afraid. That was okay. very weird. I felt, felt weird, Jesse. I, I don't know. It's either that uh, you don't know how to high five, which is unacceptable. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> or you don't want to. You've be developed some weird idiosyncrasies that we're God also not it, comfortable dude. with. This is what people are protesting over, Jesse. Me? Yeah. yeah, that's fair. I've switched sides. Let's protest. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is one hand. I would go to a protest <clears throat> just to hang out with people, but yeah. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Yeah, you would. I saw. God, but I hear you. Feeling. I hear what you're saying, and <clears throat> and yeah. I mean, what's it really, really accomplishing? Nothing. Fucking nothing. nothing. Right yeah. now. It's not one that, there, that I mean, it's not a, f a fight you're going to win. Through. Protesting can accomplish things. Yes, and it can. If you were in the 1960s. No, it can still no. accomplish stuff now, uh. but not like, not, you, if you're being a dick about it, then all it does is like, the point of protesting isn't to convince people who already agree with you that you're right. It's to amass people who are like, uh, agree with you and then convince others who are, you know, on the fence. And you don't get people off the fence by acting like a fucking asshole. So let me ask you this. When, when was the last time somebody had a sweet protest and it worked? Well, I mean, say what you want about uh, Occupy Wall Street, but that Zuccotti Park protest did a lot of stuff. And, like it changed, the, in a lot of ways, the fabric of American culture, especially in the banking industry. So they, they ran one particular protest. That one was a hardcore one. We were there, by the way. 
Yeah. We were actually in New York during that. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was a shit show up there. Yeah, yeah. it was insane um, to see. It was pretty it impressive. Just, but, but it turned but in, out in real it, life, tur- it turned out that sleeping outside is not really a form of protest. You're just some asshole with nothing to do in your camping sure. at this point. Yeah, that, w- that was the weirdest part about yeah. it. So when we walked through it, because we were shooting a movie, and uh, it just so happened to be going on, so we got <clears> a bunch of footage of <clears> it. <throat> It was all like people who just didn't want to work. Yeah, more or less. But it looked like trust fund people. We There's a lot like, of trust funders. Hey, There's man. a lot of artists. Yes. That, stuff like that. I mean, it is what it is. But they did manage to uh, convince the general public to pull like about $60 billion out of Bank of America over a weekend because of some like shady banking practices. Um, I don't know where they were with the whole Wells Fargo thing in 2013. Exactly. They fucked ah, everybody They over. sat that one out. You know? uh, but anyways, yeah, there, you can do stuff, but it's like... Uh, is now the time, and is that the best way to do it? Probably not in both cases. Uh, on the other hand, you know, I saw this meme the other day, <clears throat> and it's like a person having conversation, and it's like uh, governments. The government says, uh, "Please stay home," and like, uh, and the guy says, "All right, fine, that's fine," and uh, then the government says, uh, "You're ordered to stay home," and the guy says, uh, "You can quarantine this dick." <laughs> <laughs> You know that's I mean? fair. I mean, that's probably that, that's kind of what like, there's a way to yeah. ask me, yeah, yeah, to do something. Yeah, and yep. if you start telling me what to do, we're gonna have a fucking problem. Yeah, because you can't like the federal government, that piece of shit organization, telling me what to do. I don't fucking think so, brother. Uh, right. I got shit to do. I got to drink and drive tonight. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <I> got... <laughs> How else am I gonna get home? There's dude? no police on the streets, hombre. You know, they're looking for protesters. <laughs> they're not looking for daddy. He's got a few drinkies and just looking to get his. Uh, uh, Silverado home, you know. Um. <laughs> I'm not. What am I gonna do? Leave my car there? I, don't I know, think so. God, no, nah, dude. Not at times like these. It's no. a brand new Silverado home. Here's I the want thing: that in my driveway. Getting a DUI taken care of, depending on where you live, costs for, from five to ten k. Ten k. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if I leave my car there and it gets stolen, that's gonna cost me way more than that. Exactly. Yeah. So, so. I, don't, I just I'm making a calculated risk every time. Cops, Damn please right understand. I don't know what to tell you, but yeah. it's just gonna continue. So yeah. Do it. Cops, do you gotta, I don't know what to tell you. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do what you got to do. Look, I'm not going to get mad if somebody fucking pulls me over, but yeah, please don't. Sure. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. obviously. Don't ever. And if you do, hopefully listen to the show. Nine times out of ten, I will be drunk. Yeah. Hey, yeah. How, does the so, audi- how does the audio sound? For the show. I'm asking the fans. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I, ask, ask the listeners. Um, they said what? See what Jamie? the response is. So they said it was a little shaky for a second, then they said it's fine. All right. So I'm... I got that's what we care about. Hey, subscribe on That's YouTube, by the way, if you guys are uh, out there. We do this uh, news show. We do every show. Fuck, we've been going like twice a day, um, three times a day. It said it's only me. It's probably because I talk quietly. Probably. Or I'm fucking with this thing again. Yeah, maybe. Um, but uh, subscribe on YouTube. And, and right now, if you're watching the show live on YouTube, hammer that like button so we can beat this shadow ban. Apparently, that just fucking jacks up the algorithm. So hammer the like button. Uh, next up. Where are the strokes and heart attacks going? Right now, it uh, seems that doctors in California are reporting a significant drop in patients in emergency rooms, uh, 30 to 50% less depending upon the city, which is a huge number, obviously. Doctors believe public fear of the virus are keeping people from actually coming to the emergency room. Um, the, so when I, when I read this, mm-hmm. here's immediately what, I, what <clears throat> I thought. One of the first things they took away was they said, hey, man, don't come in if you don't if you're not sick and you yeah. can't fucking whereas people used to go in for shit all the time now mm-hmm. people are questioning like eh do, do I, I really feel to? that bad exactly um that's I, not the worst thing in the world though exactly right but if people like if they're seeing statistically less heart attacks and strokes specifically and for whatever reason that's the those are the two conditions the doctor chose to speak about mm-hmm. um i feel like maybe that might be a problem but it could also be that they're these people are, were, they're not in great shape anyways if they're having problems like that. Right. So they're probably getting hit with corona and shit and not getting reported as those things, right? But well, you think and, that. and vice versa, like in New York, mm-hmm. they reported a spike in deaths of like 10,000 that were, uh, they, they could have been other things, but they just chalked it up to corona. Um, so, you know, it depends on what you're looking for budget wise out of your state. I think that's another thing to look at too, where it's like, you can ask for more money if there's mm-hmm. more corona, coronavirus related uh, problems versus, you know, a stroke. If somebody strokes out, if they shibo on you, mm-hmm. like nobody's, you don't, you don't get extra money for that right now. No, I mean, I, I but I don't, I don't know if uh, I really believe 
that it's that. I don't think people are sitting at home having strokes and heart attacks and not going to the emergency room. No. Honestly, I don't believe that. I think that those people are fucking getting uh, coronavirus and dying. Maybe. And getting reported as a coronavirus death, probably. Yeah. Like how, motherfucker, but, you can't just have a fucking stroke at your house and everything's okay. Maybe there's people dead alone at home, but yeah. if they have like people around them, it's not like, oh, grandma's left side doesn't work anymore. And everybody just goes on about their fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, time, like, in times like fuck, this, dude? in times like these, yeah. No, you call the hospital. Like, hey, do you oh, have a hell secure no. area? I'm not going anywhere near that fucking place. Yeah, that's, me either. That's real dumb. I fixed my stroke <laughs> in my own. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather fucking, no, you know, and yeah. it's grandma, too. You're both going to die. It's, so. you know it's I mean? gam gams. So what you're that's doing. That's what I always thought I was like. <laughs> Please, phone books. God, like, do I? If we got it <laughs> because of all the shit that we're talking, no, be real, real bad. So yeah, because everybody they, who has gotten it, um, who's died, they come back and be like, yeah, that's the guy who fucking said this and blah blah blah. Yeah, you know. Uh, but that's that's my my opinion on this is that um, people are staying home and they're like, yeah, I can grunt through this. There's no one is grunting through a fucking stroke. Yeah, they are. I'm sorry. That is not no. It's not happening. Yep. No. A lot of phone there's books nobody, being used. There's nobody dragging. People. There's nobody dragging half of their side hmm. down the street right now, walking their fucking little bullshit dog or whatever. I'd be curious to see what uh, step stool sales are like at uh, Home Depot because uh, maybe they stroked out and they put it up on the left side. You know, boom, prop themselves right back up. They weekend at Bernie's themselves on their own. You know, no. Nope. Not no. a thing, huh? No. That's okay. not a thing. No. Uh, but you know what it is? If you stroke out, you might as well stroke out on a ghost bed from yeah. ghostbed.com oh, forward slash drinking rose. <laughs> no better place to have a heart attack or stroke uh, than, than oh in the God, comfort dude. of your own <laughs> bedroom. Uh. Might as well get a nice mattress. The Lux would be my, my preference to stroke out on. Um, that is a fine mattress. It'd be awesome, too, if you had an adjustable base. That way, if you did stroke out... Whatever hand is free, you can still press the remote and at least prop yourself up uh, and enjoy the NFL draft tonight. Mm -hmm. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. 25% off, Jesse. Everything in there. And guess what? You've got a 36-month pay-as-you-go program. No interest uh, for stroke victims everywhere. Go there, and it's just 25 bucks. And the beauty of these is it just gets shipped right to your house. You don't have to go anywhere. So that way, you can leave a note on the front door or have a family member and just say, hey, uh, Carol ordered the fucking ghost bed. She stroked out. You just take her on upstairs and prop it open for her uh, and just let her be. Prop her let up her on the be. ghost bed. Yeah, prop her up on the ghost bed. Yeah, why not? All you have to do is un- unroll that bitch. Two hours later, boom, it rises like Jesus uh, on Easter Sunday. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. I have a feeling this one's going to get weird today, James. Oh, yeah. Do you have a feeling it's going to get weird? Weird. Uh, speaking of weird, where the fuck is Kim Jong un? Where is that dirty little fuck boy? He, he might be getting his annual haircut. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you think it's easy to maintain that, with that a style? Lawnmower blade. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, here's the thing. So, my theory is this I think he's fucking dead. Yeah, um, he's dead. And I yeah. think he's been yeah. on a, some sort of respirator or ventilator, and uh, they're keeping him uh, just, you know, uh, breathing a little bit until they can figure out the next person mm. who, uh, who goes into power, which is probably his sister. I heard she's a dirty cunt. I mean. Wow, that's aggressive. Geez. Oh, is it? Sorry about that. Um, so. Thought we were in quarantine. Her, her name is Kim, Kim Yo Jong. Which oh. doesn't really flow that well. I don't Kim like Yo it. Kim Yo Jong? Yeah, and they gonna... named them both Kim. K- 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 K-Y-J? Kim. Kim is the family name. Okay. And that they're goes... they're uh, Asian, Jesse. Oh. I know you don't like. No, K- K-Y-J. no I do not. You only... I do not know. You only yeah. know uh-huh. about Mexican culture uh-huh. because uh-huh. of your uh-huh. time as a fake Mexican. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I know that they don't have middle names in my culture yet. KYJ. So they, they have are they, famously, are they, are they yes. trying to put KYJ in there? KYJ, would, yeah, that's, that's who I think it's going to be. You might remember from. Uh, the last Olympics, she's the one that delivered the handwritten note to the mm. South Korean president. And then she's oh, actually yeah. been kind of a modernization champion in uh, in that country. Yep. But she's, I mean, that's got to be, that's a weird situation. She's one of the only direct relatives of Kim Jong-un to make it through his purge. Like he, the, he like purged his family, mur- yeah. murdering his uncle and like his br- cousin cousins and, shit. and yeah. shit. I don't know. She's one of the only ones that actually made it out. 
that that's involved in the government in any kind of way. So it's probably going to be her. She was also an extra in season <laughs> eight of Friends. If you look at uh, Central Perk, you can see her. What? She's ordering. She, I think she's ordering a latte in the background. Um, but I look. Yeah. So is that how they? Is that how the succession works, or how do they do it? They don't have like a constitutional succession plan. It's like the pre the current leader names their successor. And he either. hasn't named anyone. I don't know. Maybe you did or not. I mean, they're not exactly. No. They're not putting up websites no. No. for the public to see. You know. I'm just mean? saying. It's Kim Jong Un for Christ's sake. But he's. Uh, and he has kids. It's too. Dennis Rodman. I heard is uh, supposed to be doing it. So. Well, Dem- Dennis Rodman is the one that, uh, like leaked that he even has kids to begin mm-hmm. with. Who has kids? Kim Jong Un. The Jonger does. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. kind of uh, depressed that Kim Jong Un isn't going to get to see The Last Stand. The Last Stand. Is that a movie? The Last Dance, you mean? Dance, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Says the Jordan <laughs> thing. Yeah, I was like, The yeah. Last Dance. Oh, because yeah. he would love it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's a huge NBA fan. Big NBA fan, yeah. Imagine, what a shame. It's like Tiger King's Yeah, bullshit. imagine kicking out before all this mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that would be a goddamn shame. Um, but, you know, such is life. And if uh, KYJ gets in there, you know, she's going to be... Or, uh, is it KYJ? I mean... It's... Yeah. Kim Yo Jong. Yeah, Yo Jong. Kim, by the way, is the family name. So that always goes in the beginning? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it mm. does. Is I that all know. Asians or just fucking? I have no idea. Or just North Koreans. All right. No, it's Chinese. Chineseers as well. Ah, really? Yep. You don't say. But I don't know how. I mean, Korea, China, J- Vietnam, that's pretty much the same country, right? Uh, I think in so. In my eyes, yeah. I think so, yeah. And and I know they're, they're still going pee-pee in people's coke. Yeah, um, they have been for years. So... <laughs> You know, we'll see. Uh, next up, report states that Facebook agreed to censor posts after Vietnam slowed traffic. Mm-hmm. Talking about the country, not the war. Um, correct, Dan? Well, uh, f- the war was in the, <laughs> the country. Yeah, so kind of the same. Facebook's local servers in Vietnam were taken offline earlier this year, slowing local traffic to a crawl until it agreed to significantly increase the censorship of anti-state posts for local users to sources at the company told Reuters on Tuesday in an emailed statement, Facebook confirmed it had reluctantly complied with the government's request to restrict access to content, which it is deemed to be illegal. Um, man, the, the, the tech companies are absolute fucking lunatics. Mm-hmm. And this is only going to get worse and worse and worse. I, I'm not surprised by any of this, are you? No, I'm not surprised, but I mean, I th- I think that's uh, a place where we need to start holding people accountable. You know what I mean? By people, I mean Facebook, especially. You can't, and that has been the biggest knock on Facebook for years <clears throat> now, is that the government, everybody is powerless to stop Zuckerberg from doing this shit. No, he's not, because we've got a bunch of guns. Just walk in there and smoke that alien. Wow. Who gives a shit? Uh, we're not we're not saying that you can go out and kill Mark Zuckerberg, but uh, Bra- Brandenburg v. Ohio protects me from saying that right now. Okay. Don't worry, I'm all set. Okay. At any rate, fuck that guy. Yeah. And fuck that company. <laughs> yeah. Right up their fat fucking asses. I agree. And look, I, are they called the Facebook company now? Yes. So all their ads have been have switched to the Facebook it is, company. Right? Yeah. Real nerdy. That sounds like some kind of. <clears throat> Trying to evade being sued, doesn't it? Or taxes or taxes, something. Taxes, some kind of bullshit. If you change your name from Facebook to the Facebook company, there's something fucking weird going on. It's it. I, I will say this. I will give it to, to Zuck in this regard of that motherfucker is, has found a way to control the world. Um, and it's through one goddamn internet site. It's through money. That everybody uses. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's money. It doesn't have anything to do with the, the type of technology. It's money. That's it. Well, he made something cool that everybody uses and apparently can't live without. Why isn't there something that is taken over for Facebook yet? How many fucking years has it been? I mean, I don't use Facebook. Everybody else I does? I don't either, but doesn't Facebook own Instagram? Yeah, they own Instagram. They own yeah, all but the that's, shit. that's not the same thing, though. It's not the same, but like you are using but kind of. Facebook, Cause eventually the they'll Facebook take over, company. Yeah, eventually they'll take over Instagram as well. They have. And they'll start. To, no, no, no. No, they own it. But yeah. I'm, when I'm saying taking over, I mean control the content. Decide uh, what people can see and post. Well, they're already, they they're already, they're already do doing that. that. Yeah, yeah, they already but do I mean, that. Uh, it's like sometimes when you create little little pieces of code in an algorithm, you don't necessarily know what the outcome is going to be. Mm-hmm. So I try to give companies the benefit of the doubt sometimes. Like right. if they say we, we want to protect against gun violence, well, you give some 
22 year old dumb dumb intern that those directions and they go out and say well let's build an algorithm that uses uh facial recognition to, to find guns and we'll just ban anything that has that in it but that's yeah. not what they wanted facebook originally because we've had to go to them directly to their austin campus and be like hey man we don't sell guns stop blocking our shit yeah, yeah. like the word rifles in the company yeah but we don't sell guns yeah. we're not we're not violating any of your shit They're like, oh okay cool but so we had to go talk to people like three levels above the dum dums that are making that code. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's I get it, I get it, and I know that it's I, I don't think that uh, <clears throat> at least in the beginning that he had aspirations of world domination or any of that shit. Like he, I don't think he was in, intentionally doing. I think that. he did. I, there's, I, I, I there's do, no actually. way he could have known that mm. when they first started this. There's no way. Well. If you look at, because it mean, was like at a least from the app. movie, yeah, but at least from the movie, right? He was unpopular and he couldn't get girls. Mm -hmm. This was his fucking revenge and his way to get back at them. On a very micro scale, that's it's kind of symbolism for fucking. I'm gonna get the entire world back. But Fuck you, you just guys. like described every man in human history. I understand. They're all but just this, trying to get laid. All this the time. one man. Just happened to fucking take over with with this one goddamn thing. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy. Same with Bezos, dude. I think we should put a, a a ceiling on how powerful and rich you can become, and then you have to get murked, right? Ah, what's that? What, I don't know. What's that dollar? It's a good amount? question. It may not be a dollar amount. It may be the amount of power you have. You know what I mean? Okay. Like I don't know because right now it, this is this is crazy to me. It, it is demonstrable that. This guy and his company can now influence world governments. You got to fucking go, homie. Yeah. yeah. You're out. Yeah. yeah. Like that's I, I like break the company up or whatever the fuck. I'm obviously not anti-capitalist in any way, but this is we, we've reached a new point. This stuff didn't happen in the 1950s. No. You know um, I mean? I'm anti companies having more power than government. For sure. So you were talking about merking dudes. What about ladies? Who would you merk as a lady? What do you Cheryl mean? Cheryl Sandberg. Yeah, is there anybody, ladies that have gotten too powerful? You want to shake their trees? Uh, well, Kate Spade murdered herself. Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Boom. Boom. Nailed Sorry, it. Kate Spade's Boom. family. Uh, Ellen, probably. Sure, she was fine. Ah, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, I'd fucking kill her ED. for sure. Yeah. 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 Yep. I could see that happening. She's gotten too powerful. She thinks she can what do whatever Orpo? the fuck she wants. Harpo. What's her name? Uh, Oprah. Mm. Spelled that backwards, but uh, <sighs> that's what it is. Um. No, we all know. With, and so does Dan. With Ellen DeGeneres, I would like to see her hair a little shorter. Uh, when I First. say a little shorter, I just want to see one tiny little circle on her head. Because it's gotten, she's cutting it herself, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Bowl style. I'd like it to Kim go Jong up. Kim Jong style, yeah. Yeah, I'd like it to go up to maybe the size of uh, like this. this oh, okay. Watch face right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just a little sprocket on the top and then see what she looks like after That's, that. Uh, I like to put a little sprocket. golf ball off of that and just take a take a nice uh, thirty yard chip, yeah, you know, from the yeah. rough, yeah. And then maybe Celine. Ooh, Celine Dion, yeah, she got a little too. She got a little bit too big for her britches, she got fat, for sure. Yeah, what is she up to? Eighty six pounds? Yeah, she definitely. <laughs> when, um, yeah, she's gained. She's gained a few pounds for sure. <laughs> she's a full eighty six. Mm -hmm. That door in Titanic Wet. weighs more than her. Um, the problem yeah. <laughs> with all these people, by the way, is not just America. It's like no, you don't create rules for optimal conditions. You create rules for like, hey, if things go wrong, we need to have some safeguards in place. That's what laws are. They're safeguards against when things do not go the way we want them to go. Yeah. Right. And when this guy can go into a country that is trying to ban anti-state stuff and then be complicit in that in a place where they are fucking as oppressed as anybody. Yeah. You know? That is a problem for me, and it's an American company that is benefiting from American taxpayers and all this other stuff, and they're sitting in their giant goddamn campus that they pay zero taxes on, by mm -hmm. the way. Like, they have two m massive campuses, and they don't pay property tax or any kind of tax on any of that shit. No. Um, That's fuck insane. these guys. Yeah. You have to contribute something to society, and your dumb website where people can fucking send each other pictures of their genitals is not contributing to society. Can you? Can you? Can you send Jenny pics on there? On Messenger, yeah. You can send uh, any pic oh, anywhere. Yeah. Shit. And in private groups sometimes you can send fucked up shit. Man. Uh, look, if you're out there and you're sending genital pics, so go to Drinking Bros Podcast uh, on Facebook and send those over. Um, you know, mm. if we're still using it, obviously. Sure. Send some Jenny pics. Men or dudes. Right. Whoops. 
Forgot about the ladies in that one. <laughs> just men or dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Fuck Facebook. That was uh, support, fake class. <laughs> support companies <laughs> that support America, like Duke Cannon. Yeah. Is there Ooh. a more American name than Duke Cannon? Is there a more American company? Uh, Butch no. Steak. Yeah, fucking Dude Duderson, <laughs> Dale Drillhouse, <laughs> uh, Duke Cannon is coming Dale at you. Dale Drillhouse. Yeah. Hey, what's up? This is Dale Drillhouse. <laughs> Who ordered the continental breakfast? Wink, wink. This is my fucking ding dong and my potatoes and your croissant. Yeah, my croissant and my butters. My butters. <laughs> Two squares of butter and my croissant. It's got a little curve to it. Okay, so what's Duke Cannon? Duke Cannon is uh, the best body wash on the planet. This one was actually brought to us by our listeners. Um, you guys wanted a promo code on this. Everybody uses it. They are a veteran-owned company, um, and every year part of their proceeds go back to uh, veteran charities and organizations. It, it is the best body wash in the business. Uh, it's thick. Thick, son. It's about a dime or a quarter size. You're good to go. So each one is 9 bucks. Um, but this goddamn thing, if you're if you're watching the uh, YouTube show at home, it's fucking huge, man. Um, and you get four for thirty. The uh, the navel's your favorite. Uh, I like uh, navel supremacy. Yeah. yeah, not navel like a fucking belly button. No, navel That'd supremacy. Be weird. I like the old glory. That's my fucking jam. Uh, and they got the productivity, which is also awesome. Again, nine bucks a piece for this shit, and it lasts forever. Um, or you can get four for 30. And then with the promo code Drinking Bros, you get 15% off at DukeCannon.com. Promo code Drinking Bros, 15% off at DukeCannon.com. Uh, thanks for this one, man. That was a do, do, dope fucking heads up from Duke. Mm. Dope for Duke. Wow. That was, uh, that was a real tongue twister. Too it, was far. A, it was a real beaver mm. shaver, Jabes. Too much. Uh, mm -hmm. Amazon is being sued for price gouging during COVID uh, in a document filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California, Amazon.com Inc. is accused of unlawful price increases during the COVID-19 pandemic. Here's a list of things that Amazon hiked the prices on during the quarantine. Face mask, um, which are usually go for less than $20, being sold for $120. Now, is this still... Yes, mm -hmm. and I'll okay. I'll get to this in a second because I uh, <laughs> I went on there to try to order something and I was like you got to I did in the beginning and it was third party mm. yeah, exactly so I was wondering how that pain relievers uh, were increased uh, close to two hundred thirty three percent flour was increased by four hundred percent that one's a weird one um, disinfectants were increased by a hundred percent not only did Amazon profit off of this uh, but even when the the price gouging came to the third-party sellers. They still haven't fixed the issue with those fucking assholes. And this happened to me uh, two weeks ago. As soon as it started, I started seeing that shit. Like mm -hmm. the toilet yeah. paper thing. Yeah, was toilet first. paper. Toilet paper and hand sanitizer first. They went up to like crazy yes. limits. And so what happened here was at our house. <coughs> it was one of those things that we hadn't gotten, and we got the call from mm -hmm. some of our buddies in D.C. We we're like, "Hey, man, shit's gonna get shut down. Go out and get it." By the time I got to the stores, the toilet paper was gone. And just as a normal family of four, we were down to like, I don't know, six or eight rolls, right? And so I went on Amazon to get it. And uh, even the, you know, those industrial rolls, those big ones mm -hmm. that they use in like office buildings and shit like that, those were going for $120 a piece. And the shipping was $40 on Holy top shit. of it. Yeah. And I was like, fuck you well, guys. Well, that was man. probably the, the shipping part. That makes me think it was probably from a different uh, country. Yeah. Well, it said California. Um, mm -hmm. So on all the things that I went through, it said California for all the toilet paper. And I was like, holy shit, what am I going to do? Um, I yeah, got lucky. And whenever you're my... talking to customer service there in New Jersey, too. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. It is what it is. Hi, my name is. I'm Tony from a Jersey in Jersey. New Jersey. I love New Jersey. I'm a big fan of New Jersey's. Um, they're not Asian ever. They're usually Indian. No, they're Filipino too, man. So, whatever, dude. Don't get off my fucking Asia stick, dude. Um, <laughs> with that being said, um, with all of these fucking cocksuckers who are doing this, um, there is some places like eBay mm. who caught these people. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they, they caught some dude that bought like $65,000 worth of oh, yeah, uh, sweet. hand sanitizer. That was sweet. And shut his and ass down. him <laughs> up. <laughs> But, and then he's like, I'm going to donate it. You're like, are you? The, the There's nothing else you can do with ex it. Exactly. The, the crazy thing about these stories, though, is we're talking about the two biggest companies right now. Yeah. Uh, two out of the three. Um, obviously, Apple is, is numero uno on that as far as cash supply goes. But it's Amazon and Facebook. Neither of them are paying taxes. These are the two fucking companies that are always getting away with murder, it mm -hmm. seems like. And 
look, man, until the government steps in and tries to do something, which I think Trump will, but only in his second term. Yeah. I don't think he wants to rock the boat no. now, but I think in the second term, he'll close up those tax loopholes and uh, and get after it. But right now, I think he's going to let this bullshit go until November. Well, there's then... not. I mean, he's busy. There's not a whole lot to be done about it right now. Yeah. Um, but if you're seeing any price gouging, look, pop it up online. We'll, we'll retweet it. Yeah. Let's say, fuck these assholes. Because mm-hmm. uh, it happened to us. <laughs> Luckily, uh, Gwampy Gwammy, we're able to find some toilet paper for now, us. Now, if, yeah. if your mom was to have a stroke, mm-hmm. would you take her to the hospital? Uh, it depends if, mean, she, if she wanted to go. You know? Yes. And is are strokes <laughs> always left side, go. right side, or sometimes is it like... Uh, top and bottom. Too. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I don't. I think it's probably because it affects one side of the brain is why it's yeah. Bif- yeah. bifurcated that way, right? Yeah. My oh, no, my no. my uh, my friend's yes. uncle had a, had a had a floppy bottom half. You know. Yeah, but he may have just been paralyzed. It's not yeah, bro, the, a stroke. Yeah. What? No one knows. No what? one knows. I'm sure, he knows. He probably. had a floppy bottom half, Japes, and uh, it was real weird. <laughs> like he said, he would soap it up, but he just never felt anything. Put a little Duke Cannon down there, wash up, and you don't feel. What'd anything. you say? He would soap it up. Yeah, you get a, you still get a wash, you know. Bro, what? You get, you get a floppy bottom. <laughs> so sometimes you get a stroke, James, and you get a real floppy bottom on that. So that sitch, you know. Dan, let me ask you: if you had a stroke that was a top or a bottom <laughs> sitch, which one would you want? Top, top oh, or uh, bottom? Interessant. I mean, just for the comedy, <laughs> I, would, I, I would want the top to be completely either. limp. Can you imagine if? Your, and the bottom if is your just bottom real worked, active. Worked, but your top half was paralyzed. <laughs> How would that even work? You'd be like one of those blow up uh, things yeah. you see at a, a, at a car car wash. Oh, but dude, you would literally be like a zombie. Like you would be walking around, running even. But the whole the top James, half James, is yeah. just no. It's not even floppy. It's just like no expression. You're, you're bent nothing. over at the waist. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you'd still be able to. You'd have to have some kind of apparatus, right, where you can like keep the head. Yeah, but what if you put forward. one of those? Uh, uh, metal things, you know, where the head's what? lifted up, like all the way. Oh, up. oh, almost like you're in like um, yeah, like when those... you break your neck. And yes, shit. yes, 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 yes. You put that on the top half. That way, your ding dong still works. Gosh, fun. Yeah, floppy bottom is something I do not want. Uh, you know who isn't price gouging is KillCliffCBD.com, finest in the biz. Uh, four amazing flavors over there. Uh, three. They had a fourth one. I heard they were. Mm. A fourth oh flavor? Yeah, no. fourth flavor. Mm. Or is it no. just the three no, still? No, I don't think and, so. But you can get the four pack, I think. Uh, either way, best CBD product uh, on the market. As far as a drinkable goes, this is the best you'll get. There is no THC in this, so you won't piss hot. And if you're at home and you can't deal with your children's, uh, there is nothing better than Killcliff CBD. Go to KillcliffCBD.com today. Type in the promo code Drinking Bros. You get 30% off and free shipping. This shit is cheap as fuck, dude, um, on it. And it's it's the best in the business. We, we drink a can every single night. I got two. My, my father wanted two uh, uh, cases for his birthday. Oh, I think I saw that. Did I, I got I... one case, and I ordered two for him. Oh, okay. Because I'm a good son with a huge ass dong, and he knows who when is his loves bir- him. When is his birthday? Uh, April 30th. What day is it now? 23rd. It's not that. It feels like uh, March 90th right now. Um, I don't even know what fucking day it is. At least now. nothing new happened in April. I was kind of concerned because every month had had its own crisis so far in 2020. I mean, we're not out of April yet. <laughs> we get seven days what left. What did like, what, every what month? Blows up what the did February thing? have? The goddamn Iran thing and then Kobe died. Oh, yeah. shit. And then January was impeachment. Um, January I mean, was impeachment in the Australia fires. Yeah. I would go with Australia. March fires. is COVID, so it's like. Yeah. So What's April, next? it's like we're just still in the same. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're not out of it yet, I suppose. But uh, if fucking if Betty White dies, dude, I don't care about Betty White. You do. She's care eighty thousand years old. Uh, yeah, like I'm done. Let her die. She's probably miserable. I'm done with people even saying that. Okay. Uh, who do you not want to die then, James? Who do I not want to die? Yeah. Name Dick one? Van Dyke. Great. So if Dick Van Dyke goes, if DVD goes. Why did you just pick an old dude? Yeah. Well, I thought you we were doing old your, dudes. What about like, your fucking children? You don't. <laughs> yeah, James. Piece of shit. Kids children don't, versus Dick Van kids Dyke. Kids don't die from this. We're not saying anything coronavirus related. It could be yeah, a ladder. Kobe, Kobe Bryant didn't die from COVID. Yeah, he, bless you. Yeah, he, died he died from, from a helicopter. He died crash. from a burning. He burned alive. Who yeah. do I not want to die? Yes, name a person right now. Gun to head. Go. Squeeze the trigger, Dan. <sighs> one. She hasn't said anything. Squeeze one the trigger. Person. 
You only get one. One. You get to save one person. One person. Oh, squeeze the man. fucking trigger, Gosh. Dan. Squeeze the fucking, fucking trigger. Brad Pitt, dude. I mean, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. Like. So uh, let me let me just play that he's, out. He's he's tried and true. He's let, classic. He's classic sure. daddy. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, Kevin Costner. And I can't watch Yellowstone either. But go ahead. Why? Yeah, me neither. We can't find it anywhere. What do you mean you can't? It's on Amazon Prime. Can't find, no, it's not. No, it's not. We went yeah, to Prime last night. No, we went. No, man, we went to Prime last we night. We went to Prime last night, and they didn't have it. Uh, speaking of Anyways, streamables. Anyways, you were going to say something, though. Eh, let them look. Speaking okay. of streamables, Disney, Eris, on uh, the Disney furloughs said, uh, what in the actual fuck? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> read this one off, James. This is a crazy yeah, one. Yeah, so what? Well, I'm, I'm just going to read it. But yeah. yeah, so Tuesday on Twitter, Abigail Disney. Is that real? Yeah, that's real. Their yeah. last name is Disney. Huh. Yeah, like uh, Walt Disney. Like Walt Disney. Tom Disney. What did you think? Bob Disney. They Doug, made it up. Doug Disney, Doug right? Disney. <laughs> My name's Dave Disney. It is. Old Doug Disney, <laughs> right? Hey, man. Is that, is that Doug oh, Disney? Oh, are you Disney's boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doug. Um, yeah, it's me, Doug. Doug Disney. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she slammed the company's decision to furlough theme park employees due to the COVID. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. It's, it's definitely on Amazon Prime. Look, Amazon Prime, Google Play, YouTube. I it's all over the fucking place. It, yeah, but you have bro. to order it, right? You can't just watch. You can't just watch it's it. It's not free. Some. What do you expect? Everything to be fucking free? Amazon Prime, Prime? means free. free is Amazon. it on Amazon or Amazon Prime? It's on which Amazon one? Prime Video, which is the entire thing. and then Prime. So I have to buy it first. Yeah. Yikes, Stan. Nobody pays for TV. You don't have days. to buy it. It's $1.99 for, uh, per episode. That's per episode, still yeah. money. That's still money, uh, Dan. Sorry, uh, a daddy whore box. Yeah, that's sorry. T- you're so fucking rich. That's that-, a, yeah. that is a tax write-off for you, and you know it. I so sleep in a ghost bed. Up. You sleep on a bed of money, apparently, Dan. Um, Abigail Disney uh, <laughs> was not happy that uh, her familia was uh, furloughing the employees of all the Disney theme parks. I get it. She had a really big problem with uh, letting Goofy go. But like, isn't fur is furloughing the bad thing or the good one? <laughs> it's it's not good, Jesse. It's not fucking good. <laughs> it's not fucking good, dude. Take your hands off Goofy. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? She was real pissed off. Okay. Snow White was still sleeping. Uh, they had to wake her up, <laughs> fucking lay her off. Hey, uh, get the fuck out of here. You've been furloughed. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarves had to carry her out of Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having fun today, James. This <laughs> yeah, is you quarantine, are. brother. You definitely <laughs> are. Look, man, everybody's getting furloughed. So here's the deal. Go back to work. Figure it the fuck out. Uh, I don't know that anybody's going to go back to Disneyland theme parks anytime soon. Well, um, I mean, I think but her, is furlough her, her, like her, laid off. Yeah, her, her, yeah. her f- furlough is without pay. Without pay, and that's oh, okay. that's what she's pissed off about. So because they they should be well, but then they can all their apply. Exec, all okay. their executives are fighting for their bonuses, and they're mm-hmm. going to get them, and yeah. then they, they're also going to pay out like a what is it a one point five billion dollar dividend payment uh, to, to investors. investors. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Take care of your own fucking people. Since I don't know, I but don't like know, letting the, like again the the parks aren't going to open back up. Like these people do need to get other jobs, right? I mean, the, those Disney's parks will be gonna open. Be, no, I promise you. By no, the I end of this year, I promise you not. They're going to be open. I wonder. No man. way. No I wonder. Way. But then, what Disneyland. are these people going to? They're going to be paid until then. Like, they're, what do you propose? Yes. Let me really? hey, yes. so let me ask you this. Just uh, regular since, since we're talking about with the opening, sweeper guys? This is this is a different kind of situation, but they, they can do something other than just furlough everybody. What? Like, there's something that companies can do. Like there's a lot of jobs in there that could work for them. They they've laid off a hundred thousand fucking people. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. That's a lot of people. There's no way there's a hundred thousand I've been to these places. There's no way there's a hundred thousand people that are just sweeping. Like there's Dude, but sweeping or working at any like a hundred thousand people? Yeah, bro. There's like no way. No, oh, there is a way. <laughs> like running running the fucking roller coaster shit. Yeah. Like there is people like if you drop if I drop this on the ground, there's someone that just comes yeah. like this. Like there is probably a hundred that no question. It's, Have you ever been to a, Disneyland? It's a small world at Disney. Um uh, yeah, you've been there? Have you ever been there? No, but I can look at an overhead map and see how much stuff's going on there. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, dude. there's a lot going and they're, on there. They're over. Like they're. Uh, have you ever been in the bowels of Disney? The bowels. No. Yeah, have you ever been arrested at, at Disney? The Disney. There's a jail in there too. I would. I don't. All think, the jailers. I, would I be can't off, think of a off. reason that I would ever have ever been there. To Disneyland. So I don't know why you keep asking. Maybe you touched a kid. 
Well, oh, uh, in, the, in the jail or just Disney World in general? Just Disneyland. It's the happiest place on earth, yeah. I don't really. That's off brand for me. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. I don't. I don't actually see a world that you would go. No, but, but like a Disney World. <clears throat> at any rate, I'm just saying. It's if a bad. You've been it's, there. It's you a, know. It's a bad look for a company to be paying out. Uh, I get it. Executive bonuses while other executives are not like. I mean, there. Iger is not even taking a salary this year. No. Like, there's a lot of that going on, but then you're going to pay executives bonuses? No, fuck them. These guys make millions of dollars a year. They can hang on for a minute while we take care of our country. Like, if you want to benefit from the country, that's what taxes are all about. Yeah, but the people that are telling us to stay home have to take care of those. Right? Like, yeah. No. No? That's our money. I want Disney's money for Disney employees. I don't want American taxpayer dollars you for don't, Disney employees. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the argument, I suppose. And right. Abigail Disney standing up for workers, all right? No, I get that, man. I'm just wondering, like, we're going to pay the sweeper guy for well, a fucking year? We're not, but Disney can. Disney can? That. Okay. They, yeah. can, they can easily do that. Abigail is asking for they it. They can easily do that. And well, it's the right thing to do, by the way. Like, we always talk about how we don't want to put the government in charge of stuff. We want lower taxes, and we want private citizens and companies to take care of shit. This is one of those times. Yep. Know, this is an emergency situation where Disney, one of the richest companies on earth, yes. because they own Fox uh-huh. and all those I'm just properties. talking they about Hulu, the reality of it. They own ESPN, it. they own everything. Well, the reality is that they're acting like pieces of shit. And no, they're acting like every other fucking company. That's what the problem with this whole fucking thing is, is they're acting like every other huge company like yeah, this. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. I mean, so that is the issue, is that these people... You know, Shake Shack's the only fucking people that sent back $10 million. That's amazing to me, and it's probably only because they got so much shit for it. Otherwise, they would have just taken it. Like, no one is... Yeah. I don't know. Doug Disney. That's the problem with this. Doug with this. Disney. Yeah, Doug. He lives up in uh, Jacksonville, I believe. Yep. Jacksonville, <laughs> um, uh, which is about two and a half hours it's north shitty. of Orlando. I'm just saying that's why this whole thing is shitty is because if you think fucking but Disney that's, is that's, going to take yeah, care yeah. of the sweeper guy. That's how it works, though. Like, we when things go wrong, you see who's a legit person and who is a piece of shit. And yeah. Dis- Disney is a piece of shit company. And if you didn't know that before, I don't know where the fuck you've been. Walt yeah. Disney's head is frozen in a box It is, somewhere. yeah. And he's just and waiting he's, for all the Jews to be gone so he can come back and live in his... Because yep. he's exactly. a fucking racist piece of shit. A racist yeah. piece yeah. of shit poon hound motherfucker. Poon-hound, yeah. I don't have a problem with the poon hound part. I don't... I don't well, either. I, don't, not, I just I don't think it's co-sign. interesting. I just don't want to co-sign on your fucking writer to my point that he is a racist. I'm fine with... Him being a poon hound. That's did, did, yeah, uh, I'm not did saying that frozen? they're don't, both. Don't lump me into your fucking slut shaming. <laughs> yeah, that's all she ever does. You ever see? You see what she was wearing? Yeah. I'm like, there's no. There's, when the, do I ever say that? Yeah, okay. I was like, I, that, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm, you're the only woman in here. Who are you talking you about? You say it a lot. Yeah, you say. It I out. never you're, say. Oh, it. You're always like, oh look at her. I bet she's having a nice big bowl of horse. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna get. No, I'm not going down this road because you know I never say that. Walt Disney. Has I only his talk dick about how fucking well. stupid <laughs> people are. The poon hounery. He wants to come back in 200 years with that same dick. He's got some balls on him too, and those are frozen. And if you've got balls, you should go to manscaped.com and get those balls shaved up. You think he did? You think he's got a, a guy who comes in there with a manscaper and just shaves up his balls? I don't know. You got frozen th- balls. You honestly got to think a guy like that that was slinging dick back in the day probably yeah. had herpes and syphilis and shit, right? Well, oh, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. He's so he's serving it up. Say, I don't know if he's growing the bush out to cover those sores or if he's shaving it up to make sure that it doesn't get too irritated, right? Yeah. Mm. Depends on the time of year, I suppose. Tail as old as time, you know what yeah. I mean? I wonder if he ever shaved his pubes off. The ultimate dilemma. Had an STD. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate dilemma. Shaved his pubes off and then had a uh, Mickey Mouse head drawn above yeah. it. Is this still Manscaped? Yes, it oh, is. Okay. You can use uh, Manscaped to shave patterns into your pubic hair. As a matter yes. of fact, I think they should come out with stencils. Ah, that'd be and great. you Do shave not? around it. How fucking dope for the that draft be? tonight? Yeah, I'd like, love to put a, a Chargers lightning bolt. Oh, in I was pubes. thinking about that HIV idea I had. That'd be a great one. Like, I, what did I say? I'll, I'll buy somebody something if they did something. Yeah, I I think oh, so. that sounds awesome yeah, story. It, it sounds like an awesome story, dude. Box Let's get into something. it. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna give somebody like a free, uh, like I don't know, a year of coffee or um, one of these manscaped things if they would shave HIV a, into HIV into their pubes and then they go get laid. Yeah, yeah. If they if. Yeah. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, yeah. We're, We're going to send them a kit <laughs> yeah. from manscapes. Yeah, I was going to send somebody something if they did something. <laughs> Nicest shit on the planet, dude, at Manscaped. Uh, it's a little little kit. Shaves up your pubes, balls. Uh, it's great, dude. It says, thank your balls, right? It says your balls will thank you. That's and, it. That's their slogan. Yeah, you're right. I said, or Jamie's right. I said that I'll give you, uh, what's, the, what's the product called, the actual name of it? 
Manscaped. No, no, no. no not the clip. Ma- yeah, oh, the lawnmower. They have the new one. The, yeah. the new one. The lawnmower three point oh. No, I'll send, Manscaped is such a fun company. No, it is the best. I'll I'll send once you, a, you use it, you'll never go back. I'll send any, anybody a free one if you fucking shave HIV into your pubes. Into your pubes, yes. And then get laid with someone that you didn't previously know, and you have to be able to prove at least some of this. Picture. What? Get get to see a picture of her shot face. Yeah. yeah, audio. Record oh, we'll take some audio. of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take audio. Uh, we'll also take a court stenographer. Uh, if you want to have one of those in the room and then just send that over. That needs to be notarized, though. Yeah, it yeah. does. It does. Uh, and a work cited page. We don't have time page. for that. And then also, the bottom of that, COVID, they won't let you. Of like, course. Right. Go to manscaped.com. Uh, promo code Drinky Bros, 20% off. Your balls will thank you. Next up, Trump. Papa Trump signs the executive order to stop immigration. The order will last for 60 days in its first iteration, but could continue should the president decide as much. One of the primary reasons for this order is is so that Americans are first in line when jobs start coming back, uh, not recent immigrants who often work for way cheaper. Uh, and the order doesn't apply to spouses and minor children of U.S. citizens, healthcare professionals, any member of the U.S. Armed Forces and their spouses and children, and anyone entering for law enforcement or national <clears throat> security reasons. It also doesn't apply to investor visas, and special immigrant visas for Iraqi and Afghan nationals who've worked for the U.S. government. Mm. Seems like he's got all of his bases covered. I'm sure if somebody's going to complain that they weren't yep. included, and then maybe they'll get cl- uh, included, maybe they won't. You know? Yeah. yeah. But like, is this going to be able to happen? What do you mean? The Like, is it legal? No, is he going to be able to do this? Who? It's already done. Yeah, it's already done. Oh, it's already done. Sorry. Yeah, it was an executive order, so it's not a matter of... Uh, I mean, you can challenge them in the courts. Yeah, but he controls a lot. He has very wide ranging powers uh, uh, when it comes to the executive budget. Yeah. Like, all, so the executive branch of government includes obviously the president, and, but it's also like all the depart, like the FBI, all that shit, yeah. immigration, everything, homeland security. So you can, he can do a lot. There. Yeah, like he can. It's just, just weird. Just, it just seems by like a pen stroke, he can do a lot. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, it just seems like the left would be real pissed about this. Yeah, well, are they or not? It's tough to get pissed about this, especially during a pandemic, yeah, because what this immigration also stops is people from flying in and shit. Yeah. So, so we kind of want this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, who the fuck is trying to immigrate right now? Exactly. I'm sure some people that are coming from bad situations are, but yeah, we're otherwise. all in a bad situation now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we all are. Uh, Democratic representatives are in hot water over violating federal law. Um, Republican, or is that representative? Uh, Rep. Donna Shalala of uh, Florida admitted to the Miami Herald that upon inauguration in Congress, she sold a bunch of stocks and never publicly reported the sale. Um, look, man, how many people have been doing this? You um, know, um, a lot of people. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's probably who you want handling the $2 trillion bailout, right? Somebody that. A shady fucking yeah for stock sure. Per- mm-hmm. And the other thing about this one, but first of all, she's been in government for years. Yeah, but only as uh, an assistant or a director of something or whatever the fuck. She's never been an elected official until her seventy eighth birthday, apparently, mm. when the fuck she decided to become a representative. Like who gets <laughs> who gets into politics <laughs> at seventy eight years old? I'm sick and tired of these old motherfuckers. Get out. Get the fuck out of the way. And if you're, I think we need to have an age cutoff. Well, like you can't run for president until you're 35, but you can run for president until you're. You could be 120 and still do it. Like, how does that make fucking sense? You're smarter probably at 35 than you are at 120 because your brain is jello at 120. Right. But it's still legal to do that. I think it's fucking nonsense. I'm tired of these old bitches. <laughs> yeah. Joe Biden, he can barely keep his yeah, fucking eyes open anymore. Yeah. Fuck him and fuck all these old motherfuckers, man. Seriously, Look, like I want somebody in charge of the government. That actually cares and has a vested interest in the future. In the future of it, these yeah. mo- the, all these people have like twelve seconds left to live. What the fuck do they care? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me somebody that's invested in the future. Mm. Yeah, that somebody that's huh. actually going to have to live here for the next fifty years, and not somebody that's checking out. Like Joe Biden's going to be dead in ten years, probably. Right? St- statistically uh, speaking, ooh, probably sooner. But I know, but sooner. like within the next ten years, he's going to be dead. What the fuck does he care? It's all about ego at that point. The only reason yeah. somebody would run for office when they're that old is ego. That's it. Fuck that. Get out. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Get out. I agree. Age man. limits on all of it. On everything. Get out. Not that I hate old people. I just don't care about any of them. 
Yeah, well, there you huh. there you have it, right from the horse's mouth. Fair, that's uh, fair. Last but not least, AOC suggests low-income Americans should boycott work after the coronavirus shutdown Jesus ends. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm honestly starting to believe that she's a secret conservative that's satirizing. Satirizing? Satirizing a fucking li- liberal. Like, this is fucking crazy at this point. All of this is fucking crazy. Like, she deleted that, right? I don't know if she has yet or not. Like that, it was pu- it, it got she posted it in response to something, and then somebody else retweeted it. So yeah, it's, yeah. it can't be deleted now, right? No, it's it's out there, but I think she went back and deleted <laughs> it. Like <sighs> the strange thing is, with all of this going on, right? And you can't go on any networks essentially, or you know, you can get on Zoom or whatever. Yeah, you can't really get any eyeballs or anything going right now at all. And I think these people are just getting desperate, and it's like. You know, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I've never, uh, I don't know who she represents. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, I don't know these people that would, I don't know anyone that would vote for her. I don't per- personally know them, but I do know a wide ar- array of people with different kind of leanings and beliefs and, you know, education levels and all this other stuff. I don't know anybody that's, I mean, I know there's plenty of lazy fuckers out there, mm-hmm. but for the most part, there aren't people people are clamoring to go back to work yeah and i don't think her constituents i mean she is from it's like mostly immigrants low like well she's already cost them like hundreds of millions of dollars that's what i'm saying like she is not representing the people (laughs) that voted for her no she's nuts no and it's it's like if you're let's say she's thinking about it as like a de facto strike maybe uh now is not the time no probably no like honestly you're, you're going to be on government assistance for a while, and then you're not. And that shit's going to go away. And you want them, at, at the point that it goes away, to strike. Yeah. That's, that's your plan, is to do that. Like, to show America how fucking important and essential you are. Guess what? You haven't been essential for the last month. Yeah. And my life and hasn't changed will, at all. So and I don't give a shit. they will find someone else. Like, I like to go to me. restaurants. And I, I treat wait staff well. I tip well and all that stuff because I know that's a shitty job to have. But look. You are not essential to life. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you're not. Neither are we. <laughs> We're not, like, exactly. I'm not a doctor or a first responder no. or a nurse or any of that shit. No. So I'm not essential. Neither are any of you motherfuckers unless you're one of those things that I just said. Yeah. <laughs> so shut the fuck <laughs> up. God uh, damn it. Her whole shtick, man, is just, uh, I just don't understand it. By the way, I'm not saying that people don't need to work. I want everybody to be working right now, and that work is essential to their lifestyle. Like yeah. they, have, they have to put food on their table. Yes. That part I agree with, but you are not essential. Like, we, like yeah, if you want to be a big enough dick about it, then fuck you. You're done. That's, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. have any, yeah. they don't have if any we're bargaining gonna get, power. If there is a job for you and you don't take it, yeah. then fuck you. And there's no, <laughs> like, you don't have any bargaining power. We've shown that you're, Exactly. At least to day to day life, not essential. Yeah. yeah. Like it's been proven now. This is not the time to fucking start trying to start doing this shit. But it's not about results for her. It's about the fucking soundbite, obviously, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it. All of this is about a soundbite these days. I mean, what the fuck, man? Crazy. Crazy. Uh, now's the point in the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week. This one was submitted by Chris Crane, who's been a DB since episode one. What's up, dude? Uh, he's nominating. Constable Heidi Stevenson. Um, he's like, hey, man, can I nominate a drinking bro et of the week? Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer Constable Heidi Stevenson, uh, a 23-year veteran of the force who was killed this morning while responding to an active shooter incident. Dang. Heidi answered the call of duty and lost her life while protecting those she served. There are no words to describe Heidi's family's pain. Uh, two children have lost their mother and a husband, his wife. Um, and uh, and their parents lost their daughter. Mm, she was killed in the uh, that Nova Scotia mass shooting. That uh, happens. you know it's weird, man. That because of what's going on here <clears throat> didn't get that much media coverage. It wouldn't have anyways because it doesn't fit the narrative right. that the media wants. Yeah. True, like Fox News isn't going to play a mass shooting over and over, right. and CNN won't do it unless it's a white man that did it. Yeah, the end. Uh, or yeah, somebody with I, an assault rifle, maybe. Yeah. This, uh, yeah. I look. We appreciate you submitting this one because, mm. again, this did not get a lot of press here in America. So, uh, we appreciate it and uh, cheers. Uh, sorry to uh, the Stevenson family. It's funny. A white man with a gun uh, will make the news, but a white woman that's a 
police officer that gets killed in that in a situation yeah. that yeah. doesn't involve that doesn't get net news. That's fucking you know crazy. I mean? And that's real news. Uh, this has been fake news here today. Uh, fun, weird show. Apologize for the uh, audio and video problems. We usually mm-hmm. go live with this, but mm-hmm. uh, something happened today. Uh, YouTube was getting a little crazy today. YouTube Probably doesn't because we were like talking us. about North Korea. Maybe. It could, look, it Dude. could have been uh, KYJ. Dude, you it know? was right at that moment. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, shit. I want to see uh, Walt Disney's dick in that freezer, too. So Gosh. maybe we can get our peepers on that soon. Uh, if anybody knows anyone in the Disney family or Abigail herself, please. Uh, or get Doug. A, have just, Doug call in. Yeah. Doug Disney? Doug yeah. Disney, yeah. <laughs> Get a, just get a snapshot of the of Walt's dong, his frozen dong, and send that in mm-hmm. uh, to the podcast. Uh-huh. For Anthony and Anthony Holloway, Jesse Huisman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Fake News. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>